Hello, it's Angela and welcome back to another cookie decorating tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create these adorable bee themed cookies. So let's dive in and start the first process. We're going to start with our honeycomb technique and all I'm doing is spreading some thick consistency royal icing onto my cookie and you can see I'm not being shy about how much I'm putting on here. You want to make sure it's thick enough that we can actually get some indentations from our bubble wrap and all I'm doing is placing some clean washed bubble wrap on top. We're going to let it sit and dry for about 24 hours and then you can peel it off. And look how great that looks with all those nice details for our honeycomb. Next we're going to make the bee transfers and for this I'm using a slightly thicker flood consistency of icing, so more of a hybrid. And then I'm just eyeballing this. So I'm just piping my shapes and I start with my yellow first and then immediately I'm going to add my black detail to it. Now by doing this straight away it means that you won't get any colour bleed in your transfers as they dry and you just want to work your way back and forth. I do not suggest that you do all of the yellow first and then go back and do the black because we want those lines to sink in and melt in like a wet on wet technique for us. So I'm just going to continue and do quite a few of these. Now whenever you are making royal icing transfers, always make more than you need because you want to make sure you've got enough in case any break when you take them off the parchment paper or if you drop any. So again, always do extras. And I am doing this on parchment paper. You could also do it on a plastic sheet, like a plastic page protector, wax paper as well if you've got it. I just happen to use parchment paper as that's what I had handy today. And we're going to get our last one done. And again, this is slightly thicker than your normal flood consistency because you don't want it running off of your paper. You want it to retain that shape so it's got a little bit of resistance in it. Next then we're going straight ahead and we're adding our wings. Now you'll notice I don't do these one at a time. I'm doing all of my bees, bodies and heads and then I do the wings. And that's just because we want the little bit of crusting to start but it's literally been less than a minute since I started the bees to work in on the wings. And I'm just using my scribe tool just to tap down any little peaks where I finish off my pipe in. You can use a toothpick of course if you don't have a scribe tool. And then just make sure that they line up really nicely against the body of the bees as well. Now the two in the middle I didn't leave enough space between so I will just put the wings on those later once these have dried. And to dry them you can leave them on the counter to dry or even pop them in your dehydrator to speed up the process. So now that our cookies are made and our bases are ready we're just going to go ahead and attach our transfers. All I'm using is my same white icing for this. I'm just putting a little bit on the back and pressing them down onto the cookies. Now my white cookie with the flower you can see here was already flooded. I did this yesterday when I did my honeycomb cookie and I'll pop the link in the descriptions to show you how to make the nice rose and also the leaves as well with tipless piping bags. And there you go, there's our bees added. The last thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of extra detail to kind of replicate some movement from the bee and I'm just using an edible marker to mark some lines on there. And you might need to go over that twice just to make sure the detail shows up enough. And that's our cookies finished. See, that's a really nice process. Lots of new techniques here. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below whether you like making royal icing transfers and if you're going to have a go at making these cute bees as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other cookie decorating tutorials. I'll pop the playlist here for you and I'll see you on the next video.